Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey. If you like today's show, which I think you're gonna, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And remember, it's Just Whiskey. Today is going to be a first for me and for you. First time I've done an uncorking. Um, this is uh, Diageo's special release Talisker 8 2021 cast strength 59.7 ABV natural cast strength no mention of chill filtration or coloring I cannot imagine that they've done either um, this is a um, my understanding refill oak bourbon casks with no sherry um, a quick little um, blurb on the back and on the front it does say from a selection of our smokiest reserves natural cast strength a wild spirited scotch with bold and brine licked character I'm not going to read the whole blurb in the back. I'm just going to cut to the chase. This furious spirit rise with cereal aromas, soon enveloped by briny seaweed and mountain smoke. The soft, oily texture smoothly insulates itself, carrying forward a bold taste with licks of savory salt, light sweetness, and pronounced smoke. From our most heavily peated reserves, the elemental power of the sea is a claimed finishing long and lingering the smoke endures this sea monster breathes fire okay <clears throat> um, this retails in my area for around hundred and ten dollars yes it is expensive yes it is overpriced and yes it is overhyped the reviews i've seen online um, i haven't seen any youtube videos of this yet but the whiskey based reviews um, have not been great so let's give it a shot for ourselves right here okay peel off all this stuff here there we go. That is gone. All right. <laughs> Smells good. Smells really good. Um, great artwork. Yeah, I know it's uh, it's a bit gimmicky and everything like that, but really, it's outstanding. Um, artwork all right into the glass we go right there the color of this in the glass looks similar to an odd bag 10 so again I highly doubt that they uh, that they did any any uh, chill filtration in there. I do have some water on standby. We're going to try a little bit of each. Again, this is an uncorking. But I've always said um, a neck pour only happens once. Okay, on the nose, it's not a smoke bomb like I expected. On the nose, to me it tastes, it smells very, um, a very mellow, well-rounded peat. Like, similar to maybe a, a compass box peat monster. 
So in the nose, not a lot going on, except it is inviting. All right. Cheers on the palate. As soon as it hit my mouth, I said yes. Very puckering. Very puckering. Astringent. Syrupy. Viscous. Great tongue coating. Great mouth feel. A very pleasant peat. Puckering, like I said. Mouth watering. There are some some fruits buried in there somewhere, but they are not on the forefront, they are not pronounced. Mm. Finish long. Long and puckering. Hmm. All right. We are going to add a little bit of water to this. I'm going to go with like half a, you know, a third of a, of a tablespoon. Go big or go home. I mean, this is close to 60%. So what I'm doing here, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a chemist. In my opinion, it's still at least 46% ABV or right around there. I mean, I certainly didn't drown it. Let's let that sit for a minute. I don't know what else I can tell you about this while we're waiting here for a second. But I can tell you to watch Whiskey Lock's advent calendar. And he's doing a great job. And also, um, coming very soon, sometime next week, I will be doing my Whiskey of the Year revealing. And there will be some runner-ups. And it will be something that I have tried and reviewed this year. Okay, with water, I'm getting a little bit of those fruit notes. Stone fruits, a little bit of melon, stone fruits, you know, a little bit of peach, apricot, a little bit of melon. Hmm. So the water definitely helped open this up for sure on the nose. But again, this is a neck pour. With water, a little mint. Again, I was really expecting uh, a peat blast. My palate, you know, can be a little, not peat fatigue, but um, I, I'm used to peat, that's for sure. So I think it's a very accessible dram. It's not what I expected from the, from the whiskey base reviews.
dry, astringent. Stone fruits are in there. Long finish. I think I like the water to open it up for the nose, but I think I prefer the palate without water. By no means does this taste watered down at all. You can tell this youth there, but it's not overly spirity by any means. I'm not picking up, you know, acetone notes or rubbing alcohol. Hmm. I think once this gets a little bit of air in it, I think it's going to improve. That's just my opinion. All right. How am I going to rate this on a neck pour? It's not overly complex. But I am not disappointed in it either. Yes, I, it's, it's overpriced. My, my gut on this is 85 to 87. But I, I think, to be fair, I think this is more of a, between an 86 and an 88. That's where I'm going to go with. 86 to 88, if you want to average it out to be an 87. Uh, yeah. I think it has a lot of potential. I, I can already tell the nose is just the, the, those stone fruits are becoming more pronounced. Yep. I don't regret buying it. I'm going to give it an 87 right now. Maybe I'll revisit it next year. Um, I probably will. So thank you for watching. Uh, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Consider becoming a Patreon. And hats off to you all. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas.